Have you ever wondered what it felt like to witness the birth of a new era in space exploration? Picture this. The year is 1981. The world watches with bated breath as Columbia, the first space shuttle, sits ready for launch. This isn't just any launch, this is a pivotal moment, a leap into the unknown, a daring push against the boundaries of human capability. It's April 12th, and Columbia is more than just a spacecraft. It's a symbol of ambition, a testament to human ingenuity. Its launch ushers in the Space Shuttle program, a new chapter in space exploration. Columbia embodies a bold concept, the idea of reusable spacecraft. It's not a one-way ticket to the stars, it's a round trip. As Columbia soars into the sky, the world holds its breath, then exhales in unified awe and anticipation. With Columbia's successful launch, the era of reusable spacecraft had begun, forever changing the course of space exploration. Can you imagine the thrill of seeing a spacecraft land for the first time after completing a mission? Now, let's travel back in time to April 9, 1983. The Space Shuttle Challenger, a marvel of human engineering, had just completed its first mission. As it glided back to Earth, hearts worldwide pounded in unison, anxiously awaiting its safe return. This wasn't just another routine landing. No, this was a defining moment in the history of space exploration. For the first time, mankind had launched a reusable spacecraft, sent it on a mission, and brought it back home. The successful landing of Challenger was a testament to human ingenuity and a beacon of hope that lit the path for future space explorers. This triumphant return was more than just a successful landing. It was a proclamation to the universe that we, humans, are ready to explore the final frontier. Challenger's triumphant return not only proved the viability of the space shuttle program, but also opened doors to new possibilities in space exploration. But what happens when a mission doesn't go as planned? On January 28, 1986, the world was reminded of the harsh realities of space exploration. The Space Shuttle Challenger, an emblem of human ambition and scientific progress, exploded just 73 seconds after launch. The world watched in disbelief as the unimaginable unfolded before our eyes. Seven brave astronauts, including the first civilian, a schoolteacher named Krista McAuliffe, tragically lost their lives that day. The event sent shockwaves through the global community and cast a dark shadow over the Space Shuttle program. In the aftermath, the program was temporarily suspended, an extensive investigation led to significant design changes and stricter safety protocols. The Challenger disaster was a harsh reminder of the inherent risks involved in pushing the boundaries of our world. Despite the tragedy, the Challenger's legacy is not one of failure but of resilience and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. The Challenger disaster was a heartbreaking reminder of the risks involved in space exploration, but it also sparked important safety improvements in the program. How does a program recover from a tragedy? The answer lies in the resilience and tenacity of the human spirit, exemplified by the launch of Endeavour on May 7, 1992. Endeavour, the replacement for the lost Challenger, stood as a symbol of hope and a testament to the strength of the space shuttle program. This was more than just a space mission. This was the embodiment of human resolve, the decision to keep reaching for the stars, despite the heartbreaks and setbacks. As Endeavour rose into the sky that day, it carried with it the dreams of every astronaut, engineer, and scientist who had worked tirelessly to keep the program alive. This moment was a clear demonstration that the Space Shuttle program could withstand adversity. It showed the world that the pursuit of knowledge and exploration could not be halted by tragedy, but instead it could emerge stronger, more determined. With Endeavour's successful launch, the Space Shuttle program proved that it could overcome adversity and continue to push the boundaries of space exploration. How does an era in space exploration come to an end? The answer lies in the tale of Atlantis, the last space shuttle to grace the skies. On a warm July day in 2011, Atlantis embarked on its final voyage, marking a moment of profound significance. As it lifted off from Kennedy Space Center for the last time, it wasn't just a shuttle saying farewell, but an entire era drawing its curtains. The final flight of Atlantis was not merely a mission, it was a tribute to the countless hours of dedication, courage, and innovation that made the Space Shuttle program a beacon of human achievement. It was a poignant reminder of our audacious attempts to reach beyond the confines of our world, to touch the stars, and to unravel the mysteries of the cosmos. With Atlantis's final flight, the Space Shuttle program came to an end, leaving behind a legacy of remarkable achievements in space exploration.